Hello there. I wanted to talk about uh, creating a design document because I see a lot of folks um, doing some things that seem kind of um, odd to me and the market analysis is presented by the game which makes it very easy for us to see what somebody wants so let's take a look at simulator right now up here we've got a market analysis that we want to apply because this is what right now this established market of simulator game fans are wanting they've been saturated with story apparently such that they don't want a game that has story anymore they want a simulator that has gameplay and um, graphics. We're going to apply this to move the um, marks where the market wants them, where the consumers want them. We're not going to touch this here and tell them what they want. We're going to go ahead and let them tell us what they want. And then we're going to select features that will satisfy this. Now I selected simulator because in the era before 3D graphics it's very hard to make a good simulator. It's not like you can't start building your simulator IP, it's just difficult to hit this because graphics aren't there yet. So the features we can find here that add graphics are open world, customizable character, and post-processing before the 3D era. Nothing else adds to this bar, meaning we can see very clearly that we're, no matter what, going to miss that target mark. We could add a branching story and we could add a post uh, HUD, but we just can't get this mark up. Now, if we wanted to, we could slide this sucker over here like this. I see a lot of people doing this, and all of a sudden, look at that, we've hit 100% expected interest. That's because we modified, in our own head, what they want. We are deluding ourselves to seeing that the expected interest for this game is now going to be 100% simply because we moved the uh, mark. <laughs> We're now making a simulator game and telling the people, no, 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 what you want is 25% graphics. You don't want 50% graphics. We'll tell you what you want. Now, if you were to release a simulator game before 3D, you would have to do this. And again, that's not going to make it all of a sudden be as good as this. This will satisfy the market, it will take a year to create, and I could continue to make sequels for something like this, and unless the market shifted to where these red bars, uh, these bars move not by me touching this thing, but by the market analysis applied. For example, for some reason they started expecting more story or more gameplay. Only then would I need to add another feature. Say if we when, when we hit apply or something like that, and it, and it looked like this in the future, and our framework or our sequel only had these features. Only then would we need to add some kind of feature to satisfy that change after hitting that apply thing and seeing that it has changed. Obviously it hasn't changed, so doing this is just pointless. This is a perfect simulator. I hope that helps. You also want to make sure that these numbers match exactly. So, recommended programmers. If I went to the team that was selected to run this, I'd want to change that. Uh, that would be this team right here. There are 10 programmers, as it says right there, and we don't want that for this, so I would sort by code. And then I would find those that have the same skills as better coders. For example, Christy Steele here is way better than um, Adolf Richards and even these guys. Um, and they all have the same skills. They're network and 3D. So I would go into them, select their role, and make them secondary programmers. They can work on the project. They just can't be primary. And then when I come in here and select the teams, I don't need to change them. Just hit OK to refresh it. We can see this now dropped down to seven out of six programmers. I still have to do that to one more if I wanted to match this design document, which I do. And I would have to do that with the design team too. They don't need to leave the team, they don't, they'll even actually help out on the project and they won't be sitting at their desk idle, but they won't be primaries on that project because too many cooks spoil the broth. 
So once you have that done and you are done, you hit that develop button. You make sure that you've got people that can cover these skills. I'm going to want mostly system and 3D people. I, I, I don't need a whole lot of 2D people. I don't definitely don't need anybody um, special in audio. Anybody with one star in audio would do. And, um, and that's all dictated by these stars of the features you select too. Obviously, this is why I need a 2D, 3D graphics person um, with two stars. A two star 3D graphics person is what I'm trying to say. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. See you later.